This is where it starts every single morning. And leaders need to lead it from the front. Leaders need to motivate soldiers and inspire soldiers to be Army strong. You know, my favorite saying is that if uh, you know, PT is not the most important thing you do that day as a soldier, but it is the most important thing you do every day as a soldier. It's been motivational to see these senior enlisted command sergeant majors being involved in PT, sweating with you, working out with you, struggling with you. It lets you know that they're human. It lets you know that everybody in there is human. And that's what you do every day, all right? Being a boss representative builds that readiness. Okay, because I have a favorite saying is that every single soldier, regardless of what you do in the United States Army, every single soldier has to be ready to fight and win. Receive the report. 12 boss presidents, 13 sergeant majors, one MWR advisor. Every garrison has a boss president, and every boss president works uh, directly side by side with a garrison sergeant major. So the garrison sergeant major is going to train, develop, and counsel the soldier on the soldier side of things. It's more about a mentorship program. A lot of non-commissioned officers today don't t spend the time mentoring soldiers. So we're adding that to the BOSS program. More of Sergeant Majors mentoring soldiers to become what we are today. And great military leadership is getting people to do what you want them to do by providing motivation, direction, and purpose because they want to. And if they fail to do it, they feel bad. Not because you made them, not because you told them, and not because you threatened them. Because they're so inspired to achieve for you because of what you've instilled in them. What our main goal is, is to send these soldiers back to their units uh, armed and ready, you know, to have the tools to be an effective leader, to be able to plan events, to be able to handle money the appropriate way. Uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people are misinformed and we're actually teaching their advisors and their garrison command sergeant majors uh, everything that they're supposed to know about their duty position within the BOSS program. Yeah, I'm absolutely impressed with how Installation Management Command and morale, welfare, and recreation, the staffs there and the leaders have set this whole conference up uh, to train and develop these boss leaders to go back and be more effective in their organization. I will also take back with me new relationships with the new boss presidents. There are a ton of boss presidents that are already working different ideas to work together. You know, it's just been an amazing experience, and uh, you know, but it hasn't been easy. You know, it's, it's been pretty tough, but uh, definitely we've you know, gotten a lot of knowledge. You know, we're taking away you know much more than just coming to Florida, coming to Orlando. You know, I see Boss heading to uh, you know a level where you know soldiers can can you know bring their issues to. You know, it kind of incorporates you know everything as far as being a soldier. So knowing that all these, you know, SAR Majors and the SAR Major of the Army being here really gives us an opportunity to keep wanting to better our program. When you're looking at a boss soldier, you're looking at someone that really wants to get out there into the community, really is trying hard to become, you know, a Sergeant Major. You don't get the average soldier in, as a boss president. They're trying to be something special. And to me, they're all special.